hello family welcome to my youtube channel today we'll be talking about why you must and why you need to fail to succeed why you need to fail to succeed now it might seem counterintuitive that failure is actually an essential part of the success process or the success journey and think about it it's through failure that we're able to learn from our experiences, are able to learn from the things that we go through so that we can constantly become better versions of ourselves and so that we can constantly scale up new heights. Now, think about it. Um, if you never made any mistake, if you never went through a certain kind of experience, you would not have been able to learn the lessons that you learned from that to make your life better. Think about it. Now, um, if a child is learning how to walk, they must, of necessity, crawl, and in their bid to try and get up, fall, and keep getting at it, and keep getting at it, till they are able to walk. Now, it's so important that you need to appreciate the clear distinction between failing and being a failure. Failing is just a constant setback. Failure is when you have decided that by means of that little setback that you had, you are going to stay there. And so you need to get the distinction right. There's a clear difference between being a failure and failing. It is simply the fact that in the in on, it's simply the fact that on your journey to success, you are definitely going to meet some experiences or challenges that will cause you to fail. But your decision to stay and be at that point is what will determine whether you are a failure or not. i give you an example. I remember the first time I started farming. I was farming in a town called Ayerede, inside Nkranza. And I was doing seven acres of farmland. So the year was 2019. So I was doing two acres of pepper and five acres of maize. Now, um, it will interest you to know that with everything that I spent, in the place, I lost everything. I lost everything. What happened? Um, that year I was hosting Ubon King from um, Nigeria at Entrepreneurship Hub Africa at Company's annual business conference. So um, I had come to Accra attending to a few things because that time the company was based in Kumase. And so I'd come to Accra attending to a few things in preparation towards that conference. And my caretaker, um, called homeboy calls me and says that Masa, a phone in Ashe, for those of us in the international audience, as he called and said, Boss or Master, we have lost everything on the farm. So I was a bit worried and I said, How? How have we lost everything on the farm? And homeboy says he made a mistake. Apparently, there was a chemical that was for the pepper and there was a chemical that was for the maize. And while I was going to spray, he mixed the chemicals. So the one that was supposed to go for maize, he sprayed it on the pepper. And the one that was supposed to go for pepper, he sprayed it on the maize. And that was how I lost seven acres of farm yield. Everything gone, money's invested, everything gone. And did it, did it hit me? Did they affect me? Yes, I was affected because obviously I've lost money. Um, investors are worried, you know, my whole mental health. And I sat down. My biggest lesson from that was to never take a farmhand or a caretaker who is an illiterate. And as much as um, in, in the rural communities, you are likely to meet farmers who are illiterate or farmers who cannot read and write. I decided that moving forward, the caretaker that would be taking care of my farm yield can read at least. Or even if the person has not gone to the university or has, has not had tertiary education, is somebody that has at least finished their JHS or their senior high school and can read and write at least so that they can read that this is a chemical for maize and they will spray it on a chemical for maize. If I happened to have stayed there, then I would have been called a failure. But what happened? It was just a minor setback. I learned from the experiences and I bounced back better. So it's important that you need to know that failure allows you to experiment, learn from our mistakes or learn from your mistakes, and then it helps you to adjust your approach. 
it helps you to adjust your approach. There's something that I always tell my team. I tell my team that when you are driving to the house of success, you use the road of failure. I take it again. When you are driving to the house of success, you will use the road of failure. So for you to get to the house of success and go and dine with Mr. Success and eat with Mr. Success, you will drive through the road called failure. And so you need to get ready for that bit when it comes to your journey and understand that it's okay to fail. The only thing is do not stay there. Do not sit there and say that because I failed at this thing, I'm going to fail at every other thing. No, it is just for you to learn from it and re-strategize and change your approach. So um, somebody will then ask, how can you turn your failure into success? And for me, here are a few things that I do in order to um, turn my failures or the little setbacks that I keep coming across or have come across in my journey into success. So the first thing is to reflect on the experience. You see, usually when somebody goes through a certain setback, what they do is that they dwell on the negatives. They dwell on the negatives. And one thing I always tell myself is, Moses, take a step back and look at the big picture. Take a step back and look at the big picture. So in order for you to deal with failure, you need to reflect on the experience. As you are reflecting on the experience, do not focus on the negatives. Focus on the positive. Take a step back and look at the big picture. Ask yourself, what did I learn or what can I learn from this experience? How am I going to make sure that the things that I have learned moving forward, I can implement them? It is very, 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 very important. Now, the next thing that you need to um, understand in turning failure to success is that do not let the failure hold you back. Do not let the failure hold you back. It's so easy for you to get discouraged when you have met with failure. It's like me starting farming for the first time and losing everything. It's so easy for me to decide that I won't go back to farming again. But guess what? I looked at the thing, learned my lesson, and I came back you understand, I bounced back the following year. And so it's so important that you, you do not let failure hold you back. I have met with people who have gone through um, broken hearted relationships and they are actually, they have actually over generalized the statement, men are evil and women are evil. And you sit down and you talk with them and you realize that probably they, they came out from a hurtful relationship. And what happens is because they do not take time off to reflect on these experiences, they end up bleeding on people who did not cut them. They never healed. And so they take their bleeding to the next person that did not cut them. And we have a generation where almost everybody is hurt or has some form of bitterness living in them. And so do not let failure hold you back. Remember that failure is simply a part of the journey. It does not define who you are. Failure is simply a part of the journey. It does not and should not define who you are. Now, the next thing that you need to know is to take ownership of your failure. Take ownership of your failure. It's important to take responsibility for your mistakes and not blame it on others. The moment that something happens and you begin to blame it on others, you will lose track of what you are supposed to pick and learn from it. Because at the end of the day, you are blaming somebody for the actions that you did or from the or for whatever thing that happened to you and in that in instance or in that interim you do not learn even though homeboy my caretaker was the one that sprayed the the chemicals on the farm yield i took the responsibility and said if i had put in better systems and measures in place this should not have happened you understand and so it's so important the last but not the least, is for you to understand that it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to speak to someone about the experience. It's okay to seek professional help. Be it whatever thing you experienced that brought a certain setback in your life, it's okay to speak to someone. It's just so, so, so okay to ask for help. And so that is the last but one thing I'm gonna leave with you. If you've gone through a failure experience, Take time off and practice the things that I'm talking about. And if you have practiced and you are not seeing the kind of results you are supposed to see, it's so okay to go and speak to somebody for help. It's so okay to go and speak to somebody on how they dealt with this. 
And I'm sure that by the time you are done, you know that or you are not the only person who is a farmer. Because in my case, when I spoke to somebody who had done farming, he was like, oh, seven acres and you are crying. I did 50 acres and I lost everything. And I took comfort in the counsel and the wisdom that the person shared with me. And the last thing that I'm going to leave with you guys is to keep trying, is to keep trying. Don't give up. Don't give up. I have always said, and I will always say, as far as you are still breathing, you can still make it. As far as you are still breathing, you can still make it. If you are listening to me, I want you to go into the comment section and type your name and add, as far as I am still breathing, I will make it. As far as I am still breathing, Moses B. Arthur, I will make it in this journey called life. And so those are the nuggets or the things that I personally have imbibed and used in turning failure into success every single time I admit it. And I want to lastly encourage you, whatever thing you are going through that is making you feel like the world is crashing on you, that's not what it is. The universe is trying to teach you an experience so that you become a better version of yourself. I want you to embrace it, learn the things that you are supposed to learn and go out there and become somebody that changes the world and makes it a better place. I'm so excited you watch this content. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Love and share it with your friends and see you in the next video. My name is Moses Biatha. Love and Light.